Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mysteries of the Let's Play. In the last episode, we introduced the Southwest Plains Line owned by Wilds Railway. Today, we are going to take a look at one of the oldest lines on the Let's Play server, the Kalos Express. The Kalos Express is the first line proposed and constructed by Tingli Railways, formerly known as New Harmony Railways. It now runs between Yanjiang Mineshaft and Tempest. This line was originally proposed to connect to a new development area called Kalis, hence the name of the line. The first section, from Yanjiang Mineshaft to Eden, opened on the 20th of July, 2022. The section between Eden and Kalis opened on the 5th of August, 2022. In December of the same year, in order to provide more frequent connections to another new development area, Tempest, the Kalis Express was proposed to extend there. The extension opened on the 13th of January, 2023. Trains on this line consist of 8 carriages, making them one of the longest on the server. The Kalis Express also boasts many realistic facilities. First, 2,500 volt AC overhead wires are installed throughout the entire line. However, most of the catenaries are of the rigid type since almost the entire line is built underground. This design minimizes noise when trains pass through inner city areas. Second, first class carriages have been added to every train on the line, providing more comfortable rides for long distance passengers. They are located on the fourth car of every northbound train. Third, functional dynamic system maps and audio announcements have been installed on every train, providing passengers with information about the next station, terminating station, and other notices. Lastly, a carriage number system has been implemented on the line, making each train on the Kalis Express unique. The numbering system is the same as the one on the Tunma line in real life. As the line with the most diverse fleet on the server, guessing what the next train type will be has become a popular game among visitors. Next, let's talk about the stations of the Kalis Express, starting with Yanjiang Mineshaft, the southern terminus. This station is the closest to the spawn area on this line. Since we have already discussed the station in the video about the Spawn Grand Circular, let's move directly to the next station, Eden. Eden Station is named after the Garden of Eden in the Holy Bible. In fact, the station design and the area surrounding it are heavily inspired by nature. The only exit of this station connects to an enormous forest planted to commemorate the Garden of Eden as mentioned in the Bible. However, the entire forest suddenly disappeared during the construction of the Kalis Express, but reappeared within a few weeks after opening. Historians from all over the world are still investigating the reason for this, but they still haven't gotten a clue. Some claim to have found strange fruits in the forest after the event, but no discoveries have been made after months of investigation. Passengers can transfer to the Snowy Line and Light Rail Route 801 at this station. The next station is Kalis, the original northbound terminus of the Kalis Express. This is the only above-ground station on the line and has the largest number of connecting lines. Passengers can transfer to the Light Rail and AT Metro at this station, or travel one stop by Light Rail to Light Rail Depot for even more routes such as the Geary Bay Line and the High Speed Rail. The Elizabeth Line will also terminate at the Kalis area, providing even more convenient connections in the future. The first station of the extended part is Jonathan's Resort. Originally, the only ways to travel from Kalis to the resort were by light rail or high speed rail, which either took a lot of time or was very expensive. To solve this problem, Jonathan's Resort was proposed as one of the stations in the extension. As the metro platforms at this station only allow a maximum of 4 car trains to stop, passengers can only board the first 4 cars, 
while the extended part of the platforms is only for alighting. As the name suggests, this station is connected to a resort with a hotel. Visitors to the hotel can also board the resort plane shuttle to travel to Sky Tower, which was built in one of the episodes of the Let's Play series. Additionally, passengers can transfer to the Sightseeing Express, Altgate and Resort Line, Light Rail, and High Speed Rail at this station. After that, we will arrive at the next stop, Hengfan Liu. This is the only station on the Kallus Express that connects to an airport, Hengfan Liu Airport. Passengers can also transfer to the Seimei APM to travel to some beautiful sea islands or take the light rail to reach different destinations. Similar to Birch Hill on the Southwest Plains Line, this station uses the KCR door closing announcements rather than the MTR ones. In fact, the platform design has also been inspired by the Tunma Line's Taiwai station platforms in real life. The next station is a brand new station in the northeast, Diamond Island. This is a major exchange hub with interchanges to Effort Express Phase 1 and the Clanmara Express. The name Diamond Island is derived from the Greek pronunciation of demon. There are urban tales suggesting that a worker disappeared while working inside the lift shaft connecting the platforms, but in reality, there is nothing under the lift shaft except for a large deep hole. The station structure was built similar to Sungwong Toy Station in real life, but the main colors chosen are orange and purple. At this station, you can find interesting things like the eggplant cave, which has a shape that resembles an eggplant, and the dark cave, which only certified explorers can enter. There are still more Easter eggs waiting for you to explore. Finally, we arrive at the northbound terminus of the Kallus Express, Tempest, a small countryside station. The biomes near the station are beautiful, but very dangerous, so inexperienced mountain climbers are not encouraged to wander too far from the station. If you want to explore the Tempest area, you can take the light rail route 761 towards Diamond North, and there is even a cable car connection as well. The Kallus Express was actually extended to Epping before the opening of Diamond Island and Tempest stations. Epping briefly served as the second above-ground station on the Kallus Express. Presently, the connection has been replaced by Eifert Express Phase 1, which runs between Epping and Diamond Island. That just about does it for this video, but there's more for you to explore. Join the Let's Play server to check it out for yourself. Please like and subscribe for more, and thank you so much for watching. This has been Mysteries of the Let's Play, and I'll see you in the next video.